you have to have two hands in order to play a melody in a harmony. Playing with only my left hand feels, it feels like it's missing something. My name is Jocelyn Kaldenberg, and I was eight years old when I almost lost my arm to cancer. She was playing with her little sister, Myra, and they were tickling and laughing, and then all of a sudden she cries out in pain. And you could touch her skin, rub your hand across her skin, and she would scream. Cancer, a lot of times your mind goes right to a dark place, and and there were times that it did. Is she gonna survive this? You know, you don't think it would happen to you and your family. That's what happened. That's what happened to my daughter. Cancer is like that. That's basically how they put it. Yes, we would like to save her arm if we can, but we have to save her life. I know I took some pictures and videos of her playing the piano during that time because I thought, I don't know if this will be, if this will be it. I couldn't stand not knowing what the options might be until I found the one thing, <laughs> the one golden ticket article. It was in print. I saw a picture of this and they, they saved this girl's arm and it was expandable and I thought why, why I must be crazy because all these doctors are saying that's not a thing I don't even remember what was said during that appointment it just was a little bit emotional as we were wrapping up the appointment um, saying oh by the way I thought I was crazy but here here it is so he looked at it and he said just a minute and he stepped out in the hallway and um, the next thing we knew, he came back in and said that he had just spoken with Dr. Letson from Tampa on the phone. The tide just shifted right then, like, by the grace of God at the last minute. She had an unusual tumor because her entire bone had a malignancy in it. And removing a whole bone and putting an expandable prosthesis we do that very, very rarely. Um, those are difficult cases, and we've not done that ever for the upper extremity in a child. But we certainly felt we could do it. Once my part was done, she had a lot of work left to do. Well, now it wasn't just chemo and feeling sick and all the shots and pokes, um, but it was the physical therapy. There's nothing you can do when they're in so much pain. That was tough. Now it's eight years later, that's half her lifetime. <laughs> I am able to do the littlest things that would have been so difficult for me without an arm. I am able to play piano I am able to draw, and I love to spend time with my goat. <laughs> Every day, something similar like this is happening at Moffitt. That there is a patient need, and having our faculty always going over and above for whatever it takes to help that patient out. I guess I would say Moffitt, it means that the world has the gift of Jocelyn's art and her music and all the other things that she can do with that arm. I am so grateful for what happened because if they hadn't if they hadn't been there then I don't know where I'd be. That scar is beautiful because it means she has an arm. <laughs> <laughs>